Mm. What's good, y'all? Rudd's here. Today's soap review features First Line Shave. First Line Shave is an upcoming artisan. He'll release his first soap on Friday, May, sec uh, May 3rd, 2019 at 5 p.m. Central at firstlineshave.com, which I will link below for you. Uh, first Line Shave is uh, Michael Riley is the owner's name. He's based out of Florissant, Missouri, and he's a law enforcement officer in the St. Louis area. Uh, he wants to make high quality shaving soap and raise funds and awareness for officers fallen in the line of duty. Uh, as such, a portion of his proceeds will be donated to the uh, Backstoppers Inc. charity, which I will also link below for you to uh, take a peek at. I do hope you'll have the opportunity to support him upon his release again Friday, May 3rd, 2019, 5 p.m. Central Time. So the initial scent offering by First Line Shave is an aromatic fougere with notes of mandarin, lavender, green botanics, jasmine, geranium, basil, sage, sandalwood, vetiver, rosewood, and amber. It should be noted that this will be offered in a bundle, soap and aftershave. Uh, matching. This is a very masculine clean scent um, and really reminds me of Calvin Klein Eternity if you're familiar with that fragrance. I quite like this because it's very cologne -y. and uh, you won't be surprised to hear that this scent is Mrs. Rudd's approved based on the uh, likeness to Calvin Klein Eternity. Sun strength is uh, mid-strong off of the container and remains that way through the entire shave. And the only thing I can think of from wet shaving that's similar in terms of scent would be Stubble Buster Burnish. So, first line shave employs a uh, tallow-based soap. As always, we'll list the ingredients below for you to take a peek at and see uh, what's housed in this base. The soap is of uh, mid-firmness on the firmness spectrum, and it's quite a thirsty soap. Not in a cumbersome way, but as you'd expect from an animal-based soap. With proper hydration and uh, agitation, the soap base will resemble the consistency of Greek yogurt, low structure, high density, beautiful iridescent sheen. Slickness of the soap in terms of primary slickness is excellent. Residual slickness is very good. A slight step back from the uh, primary, but nothing that's uh, going to prohibit buffing with no visible lather. Post shave is excellent on this soap. Uh, my skin has been left soft and well hydrated well after the shave once you've rinsed the uh, soap away. Given my experience with this soap and the uh, metrics we just listed, the shave score for First Line Shave's inaugural soap base is a 91. 91 puts it in the class with soap bases such as CBL Soaps and Oleo Soap Works. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, absolutely drama-free dome and face shave tonight with uh, First Line Shave. Congrats to uh, Officer Riley on the uh, initial product launch. I really like the packaging. Low profile blue jars, these cool labels, everything's waterproof. 
Um, I think he's really going to make a uh, splash in the uh, artisan shaving soap market with this offering and the uh, really worthy charity he's supporting with every soap and aftershave release. So congrats to you and uh, wishing you much success on your initial launch Friday, May 3rd, 2019, 5 p.m. Central at FirstLineShave.com. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.